This video is being made slightly more difficult by the fact I've discovered that you can put white wine through your soda stream carbonator and it makes it into sort of very, very fizzy white wine and it goes straight to your head. Mmm, fizztastic. This is a large selection of LED tape I bought recently from a online seller called Tiny Deal. I think it's tinydeal.com. And I was just looking to stock up on LED tape. I browsed around their site and found that they sold it at quite extraordinarily low prices. So I thought, let's uh, check this out and see what the quality's like. Whoop, I'm shorting out in the leads here. And what's really odd about this is that normally I'd expect the LED tape to run the LEDs around about 15 milliamps, not the full 20 milliamps that the LEDs tend to be rated at, just for longevity. But the different colors all have different currents. For instance, the red is the highest current. It runs at 400 milliamps a meter, and that means that the LEDs are seeing a current of 20 milliamps. Yellow was 280. I expected it to be up the same sort of level as the red, but it's 280, 14 milliamps, and it was possibly, as is always the case with yellow, just one of the less exciting colors. It's a bit dim. The green and blue were both roughly equivalent, 200 milliamps uh, per meter, 10 milliamps per LED. This is um, uh, based on the 60 LEDs per meter, I think. Code white was 160, running 8 milliamps, and the odd one, this is the warm white. It looks bright enough, it looks visually bright. Maybe not so bright for illuminating things, but uh, having said that, still does a modest job of ambient illumination. But um, it's running at 132 milliamps a meter and 6.6 .6 milliamps through the LEDs, which is about, yeah, a third of the rated value, just under a third. So, um, is that, uh, yeah, that about a third of the rated value. So, um, yeah, it's nice enough tape. It seems to all work okay. Uh, might put some on long-term test. I wonder if they've um, run the LEDs deliberately at a lower level, purely to extend the life of the tape, to take the strain off them, so to speak, thermally. Uh, and prevent the phosphor degradation. Again, uh, as with other tapes I've been finding, every 500 millimeters there is the solder joint between the pads. Um, another tape that's worth mentioning that I got recently uh, is stuff that I bought off eBay and it was kind of inspired by my recent uh, exposure to that Bollywood prop stuff uh, fe featured in other videos. And this was from a eBay seller in the UK, so a lot more expensive, double the price roughly. Now this stuff was about uh, £2.50 a reel for 5 metres, 50 pence a metre, which equates roughly to uh, between 3 and $4 a metre, but it varied depending on the colour. I think blue is one of the most expensive, it may just go, it may be priced on demand, you know, the more popular ones the price creeps up. But this stuff here... Is the waterproof stuff, and it came from a company called Lumi Dash Lead uh, on eBay. And rather pleasingly, not so much for them, but uh, rather pleasingly for me, they've accidentally sent the wrong type of LED tape. Uh, I ordered the standard um, 60 LED meter. They've sent, and this is the first time I've even seen this, they've sent 120 LED per meter tape. Uh, so that means roughly every, it looks like roughly every inch you've got three LEDs. So that's a really close spacing and it makes it very bright. Uh, this has just a uh, current limited so it's not at full brightness. Hold on, let's uh, crank it up here. That's at full brightness now. And that's clocking at two amps. Um, for the run of five meters. So I'm just going to turn that off because that's getting quite ferocious now. Uh, so, that was 2,000 milliamps divided by 5 equals 400 milliamps. Uh, now, that's uh, 120 LEDs a metre divided by 3, which is 40 circuits. That's about 10 milliamps they're running the LEDs. Um, so, still not really pushing the LEDs too hard. Um, so, that's quite good. I really like this stuff. It's amazing. Uh, another interesting thing is you can really run this to quite extraordinarily, if I turn this on again, you can turn the voltage down or current limit it to extraordinarily low levels and the illumination is still very consistent as a series of very dim pixel dots along the length. And at the moment this whole reel of 5 metres, uh, 120 LEDs a metre, 
is currently running at 10 milliamps, um, which is extraordinary because it's still extremely visible. Uh, and if I turn it up to something more, uh, let's see, let's turn it to something like uh, 100 milliamps. Yeah, 100 milliamps is a nice, comfortable looking at sort of viewing brightness. It's actually pretty impressive. Yeah. So lots of playing with LED tape tonight.